Florida State lost more than a football game last night against Alabama. It appears the Knowles starting quarterback could be out for the season. Action News Jack Sports Director Brent Martineau's live in studio. Brent, you were at the game in Atlanta. DeAndre Francois reportedly has a serious knee injury. Yeah, word out of Tallahassee is it's a patella tendon. That's it for the year for one of the most talented quarterbacks in the country, DeAndre Francois. The injury happened in the fourth quarter. Alabama would win the game 24-7. Francois gets sacked from behind and injures the knee. He would be down on the field for a while, had to be helped off the field. So everybody knew it was pretty serious. Now, this is exclusive video we got in the tunnel of Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta last night. Francois was being carted to the X-ray and MRI room, and you can see he can hardly put any pressure on that left leg, had to use crutches to get into the room. DeAndre Francois done for the season. Now what for Florida State? We will introduce you to the new quarterback and give you the Knowles chances for success. That's coming up on Action Sports Jacks Primetime in just a bit in the studio. Brent Martin, no action sports jacks back. All right, this one just finishing up in Atlanta. Knowles and FSU first game that counts at Mercedes Benz Stadium. Jump to the second quarter. DeAndre Francois going to Auden Tate in the end zone. That is a heck of a play over Minka Fitzpatrick as Florida State takes a 7 3 lead. Crimson Tide answering on the very next drive. Calvin Ridley, tons of open space. He hauls in a Jalen Hurts touchdown pass and Alabama retakes the lead. Second half after a field goal, things go from bad to worse for Florida State. Looks like bad field position because Gavin, Keith Gavin had it and dropped it. And so instead of bad field position for Florida State, it's good field position for Alabama. And Alabama takes advantage. Damian Harris runs that thing right up the gut. Makes it 19 to 7 for the Crimson Tide. They go for two. They make the two. They add a field goal. And that is all the cushion Alabama would need. Final score 24 to 7 as the Crimson Tide get it done. The number one ranked team in the country. Take a look in Atlanta. Oh, it's a beautiful sight with that new stadium part of the skyline right there on the bottom left. As you can see, Mercedes Benz Stadium. This, by the way, was the first game that actually meant something to be played inside that stadium. Of course, two NFL preseason games. We will have Brent Martineau coming up in just a little bit here live on Action Sports Jacks Prime. And hey, welcome back to Action Sports Jacks Primetime. What an opening week for college football it was from Arlington, where the Gators fell 33-17 to the Michigan Wolverines, to Atlanta where the Florida State Seminoles took on number one ranked Alabama falling 24 to seven. Let's head to the new Mercedes-Benz Stadium now, bringing in Brent Martineau, sports director for Action Sports Jacks. Brent, this was a game that Florida State really had a few bugaboos that popped up and caused them to lose this big matchup. I thought this was going to be a blockbuster finish. The hype before the game, it looked like the football game was living up to it about midway through the third quarter. And then all of a sudden, the floodgates opened for Alabama, and they did what Alabama does. They rolled 24-7 here at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. Three big storylines for me. Cam Akers did play the fantastic five-star freshman for Florida State. But where was the running game for Jimbo Fisher and Florida State? They didn't even try to run against Alabama. I counted six designed runs by the end of the third quarter. There was just nothing going on in the run game to even try. Forget about Alabama shutting it down. So that was a little odd for me. They really put the hands in DeAndre Francois' hands, and he did a nice job in the first half, but then really fell off in the second half. More in Francois in a moment. The other big thing is special teams. Alabama just crushes people on special teams, and they killed Florida State on special teams in the second half. You all saw it. We know what happened, and Florida State has to fix that if they want to make a run now the rest of the year. The biggest story right now, though, is not the loss for Florida State against Alabama. It's DeAndre Francois. We were just back there in the tunnel before the game ended, and Francois was being carted to the x-ray room. He could hardly put any pressure on that left leg, so he was going to get that thing checked out. It does not look good for Florida State star quarterback DeAndre Francois. That is the biggest headline story coming out of this for the Seminoles. How long will they be without their quarterback because they really don't have a proven backup? Up in Florida State. That's going to do it from Atlanta and our coverage. Florida State loses to Alabama 24-7. Stuart, let's send it back to you.